meets the sea Catching fish is where I'll be Come rain or sunny skies I'm gonna grab my fishing line Yes, we're taking out some time That's fishing This has been a fishing tale Just like Jonah and the whale No place I'd rather be Yes, we're casting out a line Everybody's feeling fine That's fishing That's fishing Yeah, that's fishing Yes! <laughs> that's fishing! Victorian song! Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to That's Fishing. We're out here off uh, Elizabeth Island this morning. Beautiful and chilly, around about four degrees. Uh, got me mate Andrew, he's on to a fish already. Colonel on the camera, and uh, me, Mad Dog, just uh, taking it easy. Anyway, we're fishing for snapper today. So with a bit of luck, we'll get a nice, um, a nice big red. There's been a few caught up this way over the last week, so we thought we'd investigate. We've got a huge selection of bait, as you can see on the bait board. We've got everything from uh, squid, what have you caught, a small uh, gummy? A little gummy. Yeah, a little baby. Come back in a year or so. Anyway, you know, wipe yeah, his, wipe his backside, fish. throw him back in the water. Beautiful little fish. On pilchard? Ah, uh, that was pilly, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Beauty. What kind of bait? So we're running uh, today silver whiting. We've got freshly caught squid head, which is our favourite up in up in Western Port. Look at that. That's a half a head. Absolutely beautiful. And you know we've got all sorts of stuff. Pilchard, magnificent pilchard, silver whiting, uh, silver uh, scad, yellow tail, uh, squid pieces. Anyway, and there's more. So we're building up. We'll see what we can do. Hang in there. Hope you enjoy the episode. Guys, I thought I'd show you the rig that we're using today. So we're using a, um, probably around about a 6,000 size reel, Shimano, beautiful, with a 20 pound mono. Down to, we're running an easy rig, down to a good size strong swivel. 40 pound litre, around about 1.2, 1.4 metres long. To two snooted hooks, uh, five O's, Gamakatsu with a green bead, just to, for a bit of extra attractant. And when it's dark, we light those up in the fluoros, uh, in the LED lights, and they glow. So we just think it gives a bit of an extra chance. And then we put our baits on that. Now, we've gone back from the single rigs to the double rigs, mainly because we're running very long baits today, running whole fish and so on. So it'll hold the, the bait better in the current and hopefully give us a pretty good hookup rate as well. So that's what we're using. We'll now bait up and uh, we'll get that one out and see what we can get on it. Eric's going to jump in the water and stab someone in a minute. <laughs> These guys here have just drove right up under and behind us, right up close to our lines, and there's no one else in the whole area. And you're a little bit ticked off, aren't <laughs> now you? They're in, now they're in our burly trail. <laughs> Anyway, mm. <laughs> on to better things. Yes. Just going to show you how we bait up. Uh, this is a, a yellow tail scad. What we do because of the current, first thing we do is we just whip the tail off. So that's, that's off. And on our twin rig, there's two ways you can do this. You can have it tail sort up that way. But the easy way to do it is to put the head towards the current. There is a bit of current flow at the moment. One hook goes in under the chin. Out pops out like that, and the second hook, around about halfway down the body, pop it through, out like that, give the head of it a little bit of a push down, and that'll sit beautifully in the current. The hooks are well exposed, you should get a really good hook up rate on that, and that'll just swim nicely in the current as you can see, without spinning, and that's the whole idea, otherwise it'll propel it and the fish just won't take it. So. We'll get that into the water and uh, see if we can get a nice red on that. Yep, definitely something on. You think? Yep. Oi, look at that. Yeah. 
Just gonna clear a rod here. See what we got here. That's all right, I'll get in the way of you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring him along? Oh, hopefully it's still there. It's gone a bit slack now. Yeah, is it? Yeah. I don't know what's happened. Whether it's spat it. Yeah, spat it. Oh no. You're going for the going for the squid head. Oh, that's a shame. Something had it anyway in its teeth. Oh well. So I'm gonna leave that on and put it back down. Okay. Still in very good nick. But um spat right. the hook we thought we had him on but Give us a look. lost a tentacle or two. I think that's what happened. It must mustn't have had it down. So there you go. Pop him oh, back in. That's it. And uh, see if I can get him back on. Oh, how's that done this morning? Absolutely oh, magnificent. Beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. It's about four degrees out here today. Yeah. This morning I should say. It'll warm up. It's <laughs> playing games, <laughs> Eric. What's going on? We've had a bit of an inquiry. Anyway. Ring, uh, ring. Yeah, it's right in the burly stream. I suspect that's what it is. Now, just trying to work out if it's still there or not. But it seemed to move from one rod to the other. It looks like it was loading up, but... It stopped. No, nah, it's not there now. All right. Oh, man. It's on its way over to my rod. Another false alarm. Another false alarm. Oh, let's try again. Yeah, that's fishing. Yeah, that's Well, g'day, welcome to Tackle Talk. Now today, we're talking about sand pumps. The old bait pump. The old bait pump. The old yeah. bait pump. A lot of people you get out have got bait pumps and they've had them for a lot of years. Mm. Um, especially good uh, Australian made ones. This one is a, a Wilson bait pump. Yep. Good quality stainless steel, lasts forever and a day. But after a while, we found that people um, have problems with them because they're not getting the suction. Okay, out yep. Of them. yep. Fair enough, they've got a pressure plate under there, so when, when we start losing a bit of traction, we can tighten that up. But after a while, the only perishable part in it is the rubber. Around the washer itself. The washer itself, so that yeah. needs to be replaced. And that, it's a nice and simple task. All it is is a matter of grabbing your bait pump. You'll see there's a little wing nut inside of that. It's just a matter of screwing that off, pulling the plate on, and putting the brand new washer back into it. One with, once we've done that, We've got full suction off and going again. It's the only thing that will ever go wrong with one of your Wilson Bay pumps. Okay, and you carry these uh, washers here? All, all in stock. Um, yep. There's a variety of different ones that you can buy. We use the Wilson Bay pump washer, the original one that goes in there, because it does hold up the, the longest. And it's a bit more spongy, like a wetsuit material. That's exactly right. And yep. what that allows it to do is, when we're actually pulling it back up through the tube, it's creating that vacuum seal across yeah, up, up, yeah, it. And that's, the that's giving us the pressure that we need. Yep. So it's the only part that needs replacing in these bait pump washers. As simple as that and you're off and going. Beautiful. All right, for any information, that's fishing.com.au and you know who to go and see. That's it. Done. I think we're on this time. Uh, this uh, feels like a small gummy to me. Yeah. Here's it. Come on. Oh, it's like a swimming up current, but it's just sitting there, it's dug in. Yeah. Oh man, that's, oh, that's oh, a gummy. I reckon it's a big ray. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, Ray, Ray <laughs> Martin. <laughs> yeah, you, I, you could be right. Could be right. There's a fair bit of pressure there, but it's just sort of, sort of hovering. So I think you're right, it could be a Ray, but look, we'll have a bit of a look. Pretty deep here in about, what do we got about? 50 foot of water? Yeah, about 17 metres or thereabouts. So we'll have a bit of a look. I suspect it's a small ray. You're loving those fresh squid heads, I'll say that much. It's moving around a bit now. 
Maybe I'm still going to be surprised. Yeah, it's a, it's a ray. No, it's a big elk. No, what is it? Oh, a massive Port Jackson. Wow, what a big one. This have to be. Oops. Look at that. He's a big Port Jackson. I haven't seen him on that big for a while. No, look at that. Just clear that little fellow there, mate. Bring him in, we'll, oh, uh... Yeah, well, I'll show you this little fella here. Wow. He's a big fella, actually. <laughs> Trying to get a grip on it. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge one, mate. Yeah. Ripper. Well, <laughs> he's been feeding in a good paddock, I'll say that much. Yeah. He's a fat little well, baby. Now we'll get the hook that out of him as quick as we can. There we go. <laughs> oh, the other oh, one. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey mate. <laughs> hey, mate. Oh, there we go. He's like a big, friendly puppy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, Holy not like smoke. the seal back at the ramp. No. <laughs> what, what was your experience with the seal this morning? Oh, with poor eyes. I thought it was a big bean bag or something, but no, I yeah, went to step around it back at the wharf. Yeah, and, and you had a so face full of seal. It, it almost took a piece out of me. I jumped back pretty quick. Yeah. I thought it was just coffee I needed to wake me up, but no, it got me going, that's for sure. Absolutely. Anyway. <laughs> we have to put the tail down, mate. She's a big, big female. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's got an odd shaped mouth on the side. It's like something's ripped the side out of it some stage. Wow, poor thing. Very odd, you know, compared to the other. Yeah. Wow. But um, certainly a big one. She'd be fairly old, this one. Yeah. It's a girl. But uh, anyway, we're going to we'll pop her back. back. Yeah. yeah. Let's take, bring her around the side here. Got a bit of weight to it, must say. There yeah. you go. There we go. All right. See you later. Bye. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good show, mate. Oh, man. <laughs> he would have had a bit of weight, man. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Another Port Jackson. Hopefully that's the last one. And the bait, silver yeah. whiting. Yeah, I wow. noticed that. So there you go. Yeah. Chewed it up. Oh, yeah. Not much of that left. Yeah. Caught on the, uh, on the bottom hook. There you go. Alrighty. Done. Yeah. Well, we've got some interest here. Have? I don't think it's going to be a photo fish, but it's all good fun. Well, your success so far, mate, is pretty crap. So. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Not another little gummy. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a school shark, is it? They're getting bigger. Nice gummy. <laughs> gummy. Oh, yeah. The baby gummy. Oh, uh, well. Anyway. No. Better than nothing. Mm, beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful little thing. Have to wipe its nose. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look out. Ah, we'll free him. Yeah. Beautiful little fish though, aren't they? Plenty Lovely. of them. There we go. I reckon that's what's uh, hitting them like that, going from bait to bait. They seem to be the same type of bite. Like they're sort of, just sort of touching them. We'll go to this one, then go to the next one. That's your theory? No. <laughs> well, no the thing is, though, the beauty of it is no one really knows if it's true or not, so... Buddy, uh, Julia <laughs> Sumner Miller. Yeah, yeah. I think she knows how fish behave. <laughs> <laughs> As they say, if in doubt, sound yeah. convincing. I've been trying for many years. I've got no idea what they do. If in doubt, sound convincing. Don't it's, jump it's a nice day, Eddie, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's got to take for what Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Magnificent. Absolutely. Better than a day in front of the telly, I'll say that much. Oh, yeah. Do you got your board shorts in, Eric? Absolutely, mate. <laughs> Speedos. Ooh. <laughs> On that note, uh, back yeah. after the break. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the Hi and welcome to Tackle Talk this week. And Mick, what have we got? 
the boys from Akuma have come out with a, a surf reel. Surf reel? Specialised okay. surf reel, which has been good for the boys. Yep. They've gone and taken a, a few of the good features of some of their older, older models that they have been running um, in the past, like the Selena 2, which has been, been a very, very popular 2 and 3, which have been popular models. We've got a surcasting reel with a long cast spool. Yep. So we can sit there and, and belt it out massive dis distances. Big, heavy duty wire arm. Oversized bail roller. Big power handle on there, which has got a reinforced handle all the way through. Yep. Uh, seven ball bearings in there as well, and just designed to cast massive, massive distances. Very, very lightweight, so they're not a heavy reel to hold. Put that in your hands there. They're pretty light. Mm. So whether you're using an old style glass rod or you're okay. using one of the more modern graphite rods, it tends to balance up really, really, really well. Now we we're giving that a good test out a, a month or so ago. Now we're on the surf, and we ended up with 12 evil rays. For the, for the session, chasing the gummies. Didn't get a gummy, but we had a good uh, good reason to go and try these reels out. And the drag system on there is remarkable. Very, very, very smooth. It's got a nice gradual increase on there, and you can lock up and put some pretty heavy pressures on it um, quite quickly without getting that shuddering effect that you do get through with a lot of other reels. Okay. So very, very smooth drag, which Akuma do very, very well. I'm just impressed. No distortion in the body at all, especially we we're laying under these rays and really giving them some curry. Yep. And it stood up exceptionally well for it. So, and the distances, are unbelievable what you can cast with it with minimal yeah. effort. Yep. yep. Now, people will be probably wondering how much line can you get on the big reel like this? So, a standard 20 pound line, you're pulling about 275 to 300 metres of mono more on there, enough. which is more than enough. Ideally suited for putting braid on there as well. And so, you can put Oh, easily on there, yeah. not that you need to run that much for the surf, but yeah, it, it is fully braid capable, so that's not a problem as well. Yep. The other good little feature about this particular reel yeah. is it's very, very well sealed too. I'll pull the cap off that. So you're not worried about getting it wet? No, unfortunately mine's been for a swim a couple of times and she's very, very, very well sealed. Yep. A big thread on it too, Mick. It has. <laughs> So that's your big large clicker system on there. Yep. As you can see all the way through, very, very few areas for water to get through. Not so oh, it's okay. not waterproof or anything like that, but they have built it exceptionally well. You know, she's reasonably well sealed. It's in really sealed in there too. Yeah, so it's going to minimise the effects of going for a swim and getting salt and sand through it. Oh, okay then. All right, a big heavy duty spool across the top end yep. of it as well. So that just helps with uh, being a good use on the surf beach and not get covered in salt and sand and everything else. Everything else like that. Yes. Alright, for any information about this, go to thatsfishing.com.au and get to the big fella. Alright, till next time, cheers. What are you doing, mate? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you when it's actually near the top of the water what it is. Oh, okay. So I don't look foolish. You're not going to call it then? Oh. Um, now. Judging by the bend in the rod. Rock cod. Yeah, I'd rock, say rock cod. Rock, rock cod, so no one's disappointed. <laughs> so not the species of choice then, not, not what we're targeting really. I thought you said that's what we're targeting today. Yeah, I suspect it's another small gummy about six inches long. <laughs> but uh, Eric, uh, what do you say just before the fish strike? Yeah. yeah. Quick, so, grab the camera. Yeah, it's a yeah. beauty. Oh, no. No. How come you always, oh, whatever you do, you've no, you got to upsize me, don't you? Oh, look at that. You've got to upsize me every time. Oh, and you lost it. <laughs> That's good. On a spectacle. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, well, back in we go. No respect. This is a friend of yours? Mate, <laughs> you got to do better than that. Uh, well, you, you, it's just you, not cricket. You put him on a pretty high pedestal. <laughs> yeah. You're eating a gun fisherman. Well, I said he could. Oh hold, yeah. I said he could hold the rod. I didn't say which rod. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said right? he thinks he's a gun fisherman. <laughs> you got that part wrong. Yeah, he thinks well. he is. <laughs> no, not any good. I just like doing it. The only reason I like doing it is my missus doesn't like it. Oh. <laughs> That's funny, I hear that a fair bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, get oh. back to it, mate. Try and do better next time, eh? Oh, yeah, Catch something little... we can actually eat. You could have eaten that. Bloody hell. Uh, haven't you got your own teeth? <laughs> no. Haven't got your own teeth? No, nah, mate. Gum it. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, uh, the fish are shut down, so we decided to pull a pin. We're going to head back out again tomorrow. I'll drag the colonel out of bed at about 2 a.m. and. He'll be carrying on and cursing and swearing like he normally does, but that's okay. I don't care about that. 
Uh, it's been reasonable. We sort of had a good morning, but the fish shut down. The barometer dropped significantly. And uh, what do you reckon, Andrew? Yeah. Well, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of fun. Yeah, a bit of fun. So, all thanks, fun. Thanks for coming out, mate. Nah, pleasure. Thank you. Do it thank again. You very much. No worries, mate. Good on you. Great morning. So, uh, didn't get you anything of real value today, but there you go. That's fishing. That's right. Pardon the pun once again. <laughs> anyway. Just being afloat's good, isn't it? We'll, uh, we'll do it all again tomorrow. Hopefully we can get on to some reds, maybe some whiting. We'll see what we're after. We might chase something different, but uh, it's been good. It's been great to get out. Beautiful sunshine and uh, the water's been very kind to us. So beautiful Western Port again. Anyway, we'll catch you after and see you at the next uh, session. See you later, guys.